Thank you for fitting in with me today. It's all about just a basic full body free weight workout. We're gonna hit all the muscle groups. Come on in and start with a jog or a march. This is for everyone, so you choose your weight. I have eights and tens today. You want something that is going to, we have one heavier weight, one medium lightweight. We're doing a lot of repetitions. These are 45 second intervals, so 45 seconds of the same move with that 15 second rest to get ready to go into our next move. Okay, so we have about 10 seconds before we're gonna pick up our weights. The first move we're gonna do is a lat raise. So we're gonna pick up, I'm gonna get my lighter set. Okay, heels under hips, straight arms, and up we go. So we do intervals because we wanna get that work done and we don't wanna stop until we hear that next buzzer. So, if you need to, I would rather you drop the weights, put them on the ground, rather than just completely stop the move, okay? That way, you are getting the entire interval of work done. Yes, I know it burns, but that's all part of it. <laughs> that is what we're here for. We are here to burn. We are here to get those muscles stronger. Whew. All right, next up we've got an overhead press. I am going to grab my heavier set. Okay, and I'll say it again. Your workout, your body. You do what you're comfortable with. So it also depends on what else you've done during the week. So we can work out with heavier weights for less reps. We can work out with lighter weights for heavier reps, which is more of what this workout is. So if you've done a lot of weightlifting this week, then you would definitely want to go with lighter weights. Woo! Keep that core nice and tight. It is burning. Deltoids, shaping those shoulders, getting ready for that warmer weather to come out. It's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. Woo! If you need to, kick stand behind you. Nice. We definitely want the lighter weights for triceps. They are that little muscle that lies on the back of your arm. They don't like to work very hard. <laughs> so, they're little. They don't get a lot of action. Elbows are up. We're kicking back, coming in. This is not about speed. It's about intensity. It's about full range of motion. Okay, so when we do a tricep kickback, we're not coming here. A lot of times people have a tendency to do that. You want to keep the work in the back of the arm. Pushing that weight back, let it come right back under the elbow again, okay? Shoulders are back. Core is always engaged, you know that. Woo! Burning back there. Nice. All right, we're gonna put those weights down, shake out those arms. Next up, we've got wide rows. Back to the heavier set again, if you choose. We're gonna make a V from the knee to the shoulder. So, the area that we are targeting, and I'm gonna stop you, keep going, is this little guy back here, rear delts. One of our posture muscles. Yes. When I say we are going to touch every muscle we've got today, and we're going to do each one twice, that's the truth. Hashtag truth. We're hitting every muscle today, and you'll know it. It's about endurance. So it's from back here. Next up, bicep rows. I am gonna hold on to these. So for bicep rows, little less intense than a bicep curl, because you've got the back helping you. You can go a little heavier. So from the knees to the bottom of your chest, elbows come back. So we're making almost like a bicep curl, 
And at the same time, we're rowing those arms back and squeezing all those muscles along the upper back. That's right. Breathe in, exhale. You've got this team, keep going with me, come on. Squeeze them back, pull the wrist towards the shoulder. You got it. All right, now, row fly alternating. I'm going back to my other weights. Reason is, these little guys in the back, same thing. They don't get a lot of action. You don't walk around like doing this all day. You do more of this. One row, elbows come in, and one fly, elbows go wide. One row, one fly. You got it, team. Whew. We are getting so strong today. We are getting so much work done today. Think about all those muscles along the top of your back. Think about how you want to walk nice and straight and tall for the rest of your life, right? You've got to work it. Nice. Bottom half squats. Heavier weight and you have the option of holding one in front of you or popping both up on your shoulders like so. Okay, feet are going a little wider outside the hips. We're going to drop, come halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Down, halfway, down, and up. When you're doing this, I know you want to think about squeezing the butt at the top. And at the bottom, it's like you're going to sit in a chair but it's not there. Woo! Don't fall. <laughs> you won't, I promise. And of course, we're keeping the navel into the spine. You want to take all those core muscles in. Perfect. Getting to the ground now. I am going to take one of my lighter weights. You're going to come all the way down. You're going to take your right arm straight up. You're going to bend your left knee, take your right leg straight, we're going to sit up, we're going to lower down, okay, from the front, looks like this. So when we're doing this, I want you to try to keep your bicep right next to your face, and lift with the core, okay? Try not to use the momentum. I know, it's tempting. It's tempting to use this hand too, but it's there if you need it. But try to reach this arm out. Isolate those core muscles. Switch arms, same move, other side, okay? Right knee is bent, left arm is next to the face. Press the spine in. And here we go. We're up. We're down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Isolating all those core muscles. And at the same time, you've got a little challenge because you have that weight in your left hand, right? And you're not going to swing it forward, no. <laughs> We're going to try to use the core to get us to the top of the move. When you get to the top, the arm should be right next to your ear. Like this. Perfect. Now, we've got 25 push-ups while we're on the ground. Okay? 25 is a lot. Beginners, you're here. Intermediate, you're here. Advanced, you're here. One, there's your count. Two, three, four, five, six, Eight. 
18, 20, 23, 24, 25. Perfect timing, Melissa. How did I do that? I don't even know. Good news is we get to come back up to our feet. Okay, so I'm going to take my heavier weights again, doing bottom half lunges. Right leg's going to come forward, left leg's going to come back, you're going to drop halfway up, drop all the way up. Now, shoulders back and down, bend knee in the front, over the heel. When your knee is bent, keep it in line with that heel, ankle. Woo! You wanna isolate that front glute? Yes, both legs are working, I know. Keep it going. At your pace, but there's a little beat if you can hear it in the background. Nice. We got two legs, right? Right. So, we're gonna take that left leg forward. That right leg back. Shoulders are up, back, and down. Here we go. So it's down, halfway up, down, all the way up. Down, halfway, down, to the top. Pull your belly button in. Keep that chest up. Shoulders back. Everything is working. Everything matters. Now, from the front, it's like this. Woo! Come on, team. Basic moves today. This is your go-to workout when you're like, I really don't feel like doing anything today. You just turn this on, and I think it's going to end up being like 24, 25 minutes, and you get everything done. Good news is we're done with the first round. Time to go back to the beginning. Let's pick up our lighter weights. Flat raises. Here we go. Water as you need it. The nice thing is we don't have to count. Okay? These are timed intervals. They're timed appropriately if you follow my pace. Now here, you've got like a little bit of a bend in your elbow. It's not much, okay? Why? Well, it'll just isolate that outer deltoid even more. Let's do one more for the left. Overhead press. Uh, I'm going to go heavier and challenge myself, okay? Now, you decide what you want to do here. Heels under hips or kickstand behind you. Now, we are not using our legs to help us press this weight up today. A lot, a lot of upper body. Come on, we are so strong, you guys. You are. You turned on this workout. You pushed play, now you've got to keep going. No stop until the end, we are so close. Nine more intervals, that's it. Almost didn't make that one, guys. Okay. Tricep kickbacks. Holy moly. Two arms, same time. Okay. Shoulders back. Soften the knee, hinge at the hip. We're going up, back, and in. Come on, keep them up there. That's right. See how my weight comes right back under my elbow. Yes. Oh, I wish I could see all of you right now. This is like one of the biggest mistake maker exercises. Don't do this. You're cheating if you're doing that. 
You're only cheating yourself if you need to. Put the weight down. Don't cheat. Keep this range of motion. Oh my goodness. All right, wide rows. I'm picking up my heavies again. Rear delts, let's do it. Hinge at the hip and the knee again. Okay. From the knee to the shoulder. Squeezing those rear delts. Think about up at the top. Pull your elbows as far away from each other as you can. Really isolating those shoulders. Okay, looks like this from the side. Pull that belly button in. Yes, you can. Don't stop the interval. Put the weights down if you need to. Keep going. Here's where the fun begins. We're getting tired. Okay, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to these heavier ones. You know the rules. It's your body, it's your workout, okay? I want you to challenge yourself, but I want you to make it through the interval. Palms out, row it up, squeezing that weight, wrist toward the shoulder. So it's like a leaning over bicep curl. <laughs> That's what it really is. So we are rowing, we're still using the back, but we want to also get that elbow flexion, which causes a bicep curl, right? Right, that's the technicality behind it. <laughs> Physiology, people. Come on. You can use 20 pound weights if you want, dudes, and dudettes, if you so choose. This is still gonna get you a full on, little bit of heart rate elevation, so we're getting that cardio too. All right, row five, we're going back to the lighter weight. Hinging at the hip. One row, pull it in. One fly, fly wide, everybody. Let's go. Fly, eagles fly while we flew. Our eagles flew as far as they could fly. And they're still up there in that tree. <laughs> eagles colors on today but I didn't plan it that way just so happened I felt like wearing this outfit today so. <laughs> no season's over all right check it you guys flat back at the top belly in support your core oh my gosh bottom half squats get those heavies one or two of them it's either here or here. If you're using a kettlebell, you can rack it to chest. Set. Drop. Halfway up. All the way up. Bottom. Halfway. Bottom and up. The work is down here. Yeah, it is. Oh, what you eat for lunch today? Breakfast, dinner, whatever time it is you're doing this. You're using it. Yeah. And if you didn't eat, you need to eat when you're done with this. Mm -hmm. Water. Protein. Yogurt. Fruit. Yes. Come on, guys. Get it. Find those glutes. Hamstrings. Quads. Hips. Nice. No, it's not nap time. Guess what? I'm going to take the heavier one this time. Okay? I'm starting with left arm, right knee spin. Set. Sit it up. Lower it down. See where my arm is at the top? See where my arm is at the bottom? Little squeeze back. So let's try to make ourselves sit up nice and tall at the top of this move, right? Get that oxygen. This is one of those workouts where you should feel so good right now because we are so close to the end. 
what I would recommend is a little bit of cardio today with this, either before or after. Like a half hour, 20 minutes, whatever you can do. Okay? Let's switch legs. Let's switch arms. Yeah, a little bit of cardio with this. Here we go.